Hey guys welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I have uploaded a video, but today we are back with another design tutorial. Today we will create this cool conference banner design step by step in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. First go to file and create an artboard with any square dimensions. Then select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle equal to the size of the canvas. Then open the gradient panel and apply a gradient to this rectangle. Change the gradient type to radial. And invert it. Now double click on this slider and apply some dark color to this gradient. Similarly apply for the other slider. Note down the RGB values of these colors. Now we will add background to our flyer design. Download these files from the video description. And drag this background image in Illustrator. Align this image to the center. It's a high resolution file, so you need to scale it down properly. Now we will slightly blend this background. Open the transparency panel from here. And if you cannot see this panel, go to Windows, and scroll down to see Transparency. Click on this drop-down menu, and change the blend mode to screen. Now the background is slightly blending in the gradient. Now we will add some shading in the background. Drag this smoke shade image in Illustrator. And scale it down according to the canvas. Now place it randomly on your design. Create several copies and place them randomly. You don't need to be perfect in this. Just be creative and place them according to your own choice. Just make sure to not do it too much. You can also decrease the opacity if you want to. Now our background is complete. Select everything on the canvas. Go to Object, and lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing our background. Select the text tool, and add some heading to your design. Use some creative typeface in your design to make it stand out. I am using a tall typeface this time. Note down the font that I have used. Change its color to white. Go to Effect, and apply a shadow effect to this heading. Click on Preview to see the effect in real time. Note down these values or you can also apply your own values. Once you are satisfied with the values, hit OK.
Align this heading to the center of the artboard. Change the font size to around 170. And place it somewhere like this. Now we will add our subject in our design. Drag this model image in Illustrator. And scale it down accordingly. Place it in the center of the artboard. Now we will apply some shadow to this subject too. Click on Preview. And adjust the shadow accordingly. Increase the darkness to make it stand out. Adjust the blur value and hit OK. Now add the same background shading in the front. Scale it down and make sure that it's not too much. Now we will adjust the bottom portion of our design. Drag this smoke layer in Illustrator. Scale it down properly. Right click on this smoke layer. Go to Transform. And reflect this layer horizontally. If the smoke is looking too dark, you can decrease its opacity just a little. Adjust its position according to your subject image. Create copies if needed and hide your subject behind them. Again you can add the shading here to make it more realistic. Place it in the front of all the layers. Now add the dark smoke layer randomly in your design. Add some of it in the corners of your design. And same on the opposite side to make things look balanced. Adjust the position of layers if needed. Now it's time to add our headline here. Copy this text from the background. Right click on it. And bring it to front. Now change the typeface to some decent style like Poppins.
decrease the size to around 40. Now add your headline here. Increase the font weight to some extra bold. Edit this text layer for the styling of headline. Scale it accordingly, and make sure to place it in the center. Now edit the shadow effect of this layer. Go to the appearance panel, and click on drop shadow. Increase the darkness of the shadow. And hit OK. Now we will transform this headline. Select the free transform tool. Hold down the control key, and click and drag this anchor point upward. And your headline will be transformed. Go to the character panel. And adjust the line spacing of your headline. Use a value around 40 to 45 and hit enter. Adjust the position of this headline. And scale it accordingly. Now add some logo in the corner. I will use this random logo for this tutorial. Drag your logo in Illustrator. And scale it down to make it small. Place it in the corner of your flyer design. Adjust the background smoke layer if your logo is not properly visible. Same adjustment on the other side. Now add some other helpful text on the other side. Adjust the color and size of this helpful text accordingly. Change the font weight and font size. Adjust colors according to your own choice. And adjust its position in the corner. Now add some body text at the bottom. I've copied some random text for this design. Select the text tool, and click and drag to create a text box. Paste your text here inside this box. Change the color to white. Font weight to regular. And decrease the size. Also adjust the line spacing.
Adjust the size of this text box. And place it in the center. You can change the color slightly from white to gray. Now add some helpful link at the bottom. Finalize this helpful link. Now the banner design is complete. Go to Object, and select Unlock All. Select the Rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the canvas. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And here is the final output. I hope you liked today's tutorial. Like and subscribe for more upcoming tutorials. And I'll see you in the next one.